In the media today, we constantly see stories about horrific dog attacks involving Staffordshire Bull Terriers or other Bulldog breeds. These stories have given Bull breeds a bad reputation. What we want to find out is whether their tarnished reputation as dangerous dogs is a fair judgement. First, we're in Battersea Park, London, looking to gauge the public's opinion on the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. So, what do you think about Staffordshire Bull Terriers? Oh, uh, it scares me because they are predictable and they are big, and uh, sometimes they just run towards you so with that face. This is Piper. She's a cross Staffordshire Bull Terrier. We think possibly a Ridgeback. This is just on the leg. She is the most lovely, happy, loving. Playful, affectionate, uh, unthreatened dog, imagine. So why do we see these dogs as dangerous? The Staffies are extremely muscular and look similar to the American pit bull breed, which is actually banned in the UK. They have a scissor-like bite and their jaws have the ability to lock shut. The Staffies' reputation comes from a history of being bred for bull baiting. This is where the dogs would fight other bull breeds or even bears as entertainment. Bull baiting is illegal today, but has evolved into a sport known as dog baiting. This is where the owners make their dogs fight each other. The Staffies are being trained to be aggressive, to partake in these fights, and this is why they are seen as dangerous. Where are we? We are at Kings Curswell Downs in Devon um, to interview Steve, who is a dog walker. Yeah, so as a dog walker, do you think, do you, are you sceptical when it comes to taking on with no, 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 I will treat every dog the same. Every dog I take precautions when I first take them out anyway, because of course I don't know what they're going to be like. A couple months ago, a Malamute attacked a, a young a young child, and the front page of the Sun said, um, I can't remember exactly what it said, but it said the Malamute rips boy's head off. Oh, well, that's not really a good front page. I know it sells papers. Do you think a lot of um, like Staffordshire Bull Terriers are being implicated in um, attacks which they aren't necessarily part of? Because I know that with the Dangerous Dogs Act there are a lot of uh, dogs being diagnosed as types, so to speak. Well, which I think aren't... the Dangerous Dog Act is a load of rubbish anyway, to be quite honest. I think it's a case of every dog is a dangerous dog. Every dog is capable of killing someone. Issues with the Staffies' reputation have made those living in rescue centres difficult to rehome. Battersea Cats and Dogs Home has said that 70% of their dogs in kennels, which are waiting to be rehomed, are Staffies or crossbreed Staffies. We follow the story of Honey, a Staffordshire Bull Terrier crossbreed who was put into a rescue centre after a tough life as a puppy. Danielle speaks to Honey's owner. Tell me a bit more about um, Honey's story before you rescued her. Um, she was bought by a family that had got a bit upset, <laughs> who um, had two young children and she was brought as a toy for them to play with. Um, and they'd never trained her properly. And um, she used to jump up to greet everybody. Um, and she used to knock the children over, so they abandoned her to the local dog pound where they live. Tag rescue in Kent heard about her um, and rescued her. Um, and one of the ladies tried to home her with her own dog, sorry. <laughs> um, but it didn't work out. She clashed with one of the other dogs there. Where we take our other dog for behavioural work. Um, we also have a small rescue and they took her in to try and rehome her. Um, and that's where we met her. So Honey's not like any of the quintessential Staffy dogs? Not at all, no. She's got no aggression in her whatsoever. She went out of line. It's apparent that the Staffy's temperament is not always what is represented in the media. And like Steve said, all dogs have the potential to be dangerous dogs. <laughs> 